All right, we have some results. It finished with 4,600 reps per minute, which means it is quieter than the internal fan in the song. Fight. All right, we have the deep cool laptop cooler. It's got a, it's got a nine in it. It's got an i9, so it's been i9 verified. We're gonna be using this to get our i9, n i9. Yeah, this is not gonna work, is it? S super silent. That's what I want. That's what I want. Super slim, super silent. Mm. Should we do a, a car unboxing? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yalla, let's do this. Uh, I'm actually, I want it to be slim. I want it to be low profile. I also want to make sure. Uh, pretty thick. <laughs> it's pretty thick, but it's not the thickest. It's good condition. It smells new. Mm, now, I need to make sure I take good care of this because if I don't return it in perfect condition, they will charge me 20%. And 20% of $12 is $2.40. And $2.40 in real money from Australian money is like 1p. <laughs> <laughs> No manual, so. What I do you think, think it's easy. I think you just plug it in and go. Ah, I'm excited, man. Me too. Oh, yeah, this works. This works. Hey, Google. Navigate home. My friends, this is it. We're going to be trying out this laptop cooler. And I'll tell you something. I'm not an idiot. I actually tested this on one of these desk fans earlier. And, uh, oh yeah, as you can see, I went a bit mental with it. Basically, it does cool down the laptop, except this one is very noisy. So, I wanted to get an ultra quiet one, and apparently this one said it was quiet. Right now, I've got a basic test here. When I use Synbench, the fans go up to 5,000 revs per minute. So normally, the fans would be 5,500. So, <sighs> what? I'm going to be doing is seeing if I have this guy on. Well, two things, two things. I want to see if this, these fans going at a thousand reps per minute is quieter than the fans on this MacBook. If they're quiet, I'll be happy with that. However, if they're not, then why am I doing this? All right, let's see first. Um, all right, I need to get one of these because uh, I'm in space. Is that the right one? Yeah, okay. Wish me luck. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it. You can definitely hear it. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it. This, this is the quietest one I could find online and you can still hear it. Let's see if it does a difference to the performance. So right now, the fans are going 2,200. That's as quiet as it gets. I'm gonna hit run. This is gonna take quite a while because this isn't a MacBook Pro with Touch Bar 2018. This is just a normal one. And let's see. It's still 2,100. 2,200. Probably not boring. Let's fast forward this up. All right. We have some results. All right, guys. So. It finished with 4,600 reps per minute, which means it is quieter than the internal fan on its own. Problem is, this actual cooler is noisy in itself, so it's not a silent experience. There's probably some modifications you can do. For example, if you put the airflow here, and you can even raise these legs a bit. It does, it does work. So there is some solutions there. Problem is right now, this guy, the one that I bought, which was 21 dB and only a thousand reps per minute, is actually noisy in itself, so it's not going to get you a silent experience. If anyone knows a good laptop cooler I can get, I want one. I don't care about the power. All I want is some, some air being blown up out of this area, because what happens is with these Macs, the air, the hot air, just pumps out in this, this portion. And this portion collects lots of hot air. So all you need is a little fan to just blow away that hot air away from the laptop and it will mean the laptop can run cooler and quieter. Problem is these monsters, they're made more for form rather than factor. What do you think? 